Hey everybody, we're off to the Weddell Sea in the next episode of our Endless Ocean playthrough. Dang it. The weather is beautiful. The Aurora! Ooh. Well, that's a nice surprise. Uh, it's not why I came, though. Um, we came to the Weddell Sea because I think the Bluebird quest takes us here. And... The riddle for the bluebird says that we need to come when the, the ice dances in the ocean or something like that. And I believe what that means is it wants us to come here when uh, there is a storm, right? When the water is, you know, the, the ice is being moved around by the wind and the waves. But I'm not going to miss an opportunity to check out the RRI. Take Hayako with us. And we might as well fill in some of the map, I guess, right? Yeah, let's do that. Penguins. Not a lot to see down here when it's dark. Check to make sure. Yeah, I gotta unlock all the species. South American sea lion. I recognized him from the main. This sea lion has brown hair with a black tint and a thick leather layer of thick layer of blubber underneath its skin. A male sea lion also has a light brown mane around its neck. It primarily eats fish and squid, though it has been also been known to eat penguins. Here, buddy. Food? Golden opportunities. The South American sea lion breeds on the Valdez Peninsula in Argentina. During their mating season, large numbers of sea lions gather, presenting a golden opportunity for breeding. Sharks also appear in droves at this time, attacking sea lions near the shore. Although this is not unusual in itself, it means that the sharks know to gather at the same time for their gold, their own golden opportunity to hunt. Yeah. Nature is beautiful. But it's also very merciless. Which is an aspect of nature that I think goes ignored an awful lot. I'm sorry if, I, if, if, like, the map popping up on screen instead of me, you know, looking at the... Ooh. What, what do we find? Small iceberg AS2813. This is just another iceberg, I guess. Or is it? Those are southern bottlenose whales. They're not something you see every day. That doesn't mean that they're particularly rare, though. It's just that the Atlantic has so few people. And the Antarctic has so few people, there's no one around to see them. Pretty sure that was supposed to be jean Eric's voice, but... Where is it? There it is. Okay. I have to check him out. We, we have not. All right. Southern bottlenose whale. It looks like an overgrown bottlenose dolphin, doesn't it? This species has a rounded head with a thin snout, making it look like a bottleneck's a bottle's neck. Several hundred thousand are believed to live in the Antarctic Ocean. Closely related species, the northern bottlenose whale lives in the northern hemisphere. How beautiful. Checking to make sure we got all these spots on the map. We can go under this as well, right? Yeah.
Excuse me. Okay, this is a little bit, little bit scary right now. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Got a little lost. Anyway, my plan is just to fill in these squares one by one, find a place to surface to watch the aurora, and then I'm going to go back, and we're going to wait for a snowstorm before we go diving again. So as long as we're here, we might as well check out these seals. Yeah, we haven't met you yet. You're the Weddell seal. This seal can be identified by the scattering of black or white patches across its gray body. Whiskers spot from either side of its upturned nose. Uses its teeth to cut ice, creating holes to dive and surface in. Its teeth gradually wear down, and new teeth do not grow in their place. Seals with very short teeth are unable to survive. They run out of teeth eventually. Dang. Food? No? How about a pet? No? How about a whistle? No? How about I take a picture of you? No? How do I unlock this guy's trivia? Uh, you want me to pulsar you? No, that's not it. Maybe I gotta interact with him on the surface. Maybe if I find a place where he's, you know, just up there. Yeah, there's a lot of them here. I think they might be, might be on that little surface area that I can go to. And if I give him, like, a fish or something. This is weird because the sea lion was fine with the fish food. Alright, I can already see it. There it is. As I'm recording this, it was like a month or so ago. It might have been just a few weeks, but there was a, a massive solar flare that caused northern lights that were visible all the way down as, like, the United Kingdom and most of most of the uh, United States. Where I am in Eastern Europe, unfortunately, they were not visible. Wouldn't matter because I was asleep anyway, but... It's going to happen again, I'm told. I'll stay up just to see if maybe we can get a glimpse of it from where we are, but I doubt it. Oh, this is the leopard seal. Well, that's a leopard seal. I don't imagine there are going to be any Weddell seals around here. Yeah, didn't think so. Oh, man. Pretty. Okay. Anyway, back to the boat. Unlocked a portion of the map there. Weather isn't so bad. Well, that won't do. I'm gonna rest a couple of days. So, fortunately, the way this works is that you just gotta. Every three days, the weather changes. It should change now. Yep. There we go. Really bad snowstorm. This is what we want. This is the ideal weather to dive in, kids. Very peaceful music for what's going on. this way this time the porpoises right we've already met 
Spectacle porpoises are a rare species. It's not even often you get to see one. It really is quite a find. Guess today's your lucky day. We bet already, right? Yeah. I, I'm training one of you guys at home. Emperor Penguin? Strap Penguin. They have a white face with a characteristic black line at their throat that gives them their name. They are found on Antarctic islands, which is reflected in their scientific name. Pyocellus Antarctica. Pyoscellus? Pygoscellus. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not good at Latin. They're cute though. I like him. I'm noticing the uh, the little ripples on the water. Are you seeing that? Where all the, the raindrops are falling? Unfortunately, the game couldn't handle, like, waves and stuff. They didn't bother to animate storms. I think there's a thing in Subnautica as well. They didn't animate their storms. Found a new iceberg. Subnautica Below Zero had storms. But even there, the water level remained constant. Like, off the top of my head, the only... The only game I can think of that... Ooh. Those, uh, those small whales are Antarctic mink whales. Mink whales belong to the Baleen, the Baleen whale family, the same as the giant blue whale. As you can see, even a fully grown adult isn't very big. In fact, it's only about as large as a baby blue whale. Anyway, what I was saying, uh, th there are two games I can think of, and I'm only sure of one, that actually animates the waves in the ocean that they make. Uh, one of them is... A relatively small streamlined whale can be found in both the southern and northern hemispheres. Each group has a slightly different diet. Those in the southern hemisphere eat plankton and krill, while those in the northern hemisphere eat krill, herring, and other small fish. Uh, sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves has animated waves. And I'm not sure, but I think Assassin's Creed as well. Uh, you know, the ones where you're on the water. Black Flag. Um, Odyssey. Those are the ones I've played. I, haven't, I didn't play Origins. And the, the, ocean, the, the waters in Valhalla are mostly rivers. Not a lot of ocean diving there either. Anyway, let's not forget why we're here. So yeah, even though the wind is blowing and the rain is falling, the water is still very smooth. Which I don't think is what this would be like. Ooh. Oh man. I should I should put on a coat or something. Uh bird. Bird. There is no bird. We will just have to look somewhere else. Plenty of other places to go ashore here. Plus, as long as I'm here, I'm going to fill out all these boxes. 
swim under the... Oh, got it. Okay, I it. Here are the mink whales. That's that map completed. So, I'm actually, I'm gonna check the corner in the southwest first, because I believe that's where it is. I'm also gonna swim under that block. There are the leopard seals. These icebergs go pretty deep. That is scary. As long as I'm here, I think we might as well check this spot first. See, see the ripples on the water? That's cool. I like that effect. This is what I love about games like these, where the graphics have aged, but the art design hasn't. What's up, penguins? I made this argument before. And I will, I'll make it a thousand times. Graphics never needed to be better than this. Animation quality has. Like if I have a problem, like an issue with this game's appearance, I'd say that a lot of the, especially the humans, don't always move like real people. They move a little bit stiff. Animation on the animals is amazing, right? But... I think animation quality always trumps graphical fidelity in my book. Always. I can forgive a something not looking exactly what it looks like in the real world as long as it moves like something that moves in the real world. Like if a very old low poly model has animations that look like a human being mo moving, then I think that's more important. Try to think about all the times you've played a video game and you were taken out of the experience because you were watching the same animations over and over again, right? That doesn't really happen in the real world. Where is that bird? I think I was wrong, it's not here. I'm also not sure that we've actually seen those penguins yet. Might have stopped to check them out. I don't see them in the water. Let's go to this one next. Here are the porpoises. No, it's uh, it's uh, an elephant seal. Yeah. Recognized by its long nose, this seal is particularly large. A male weighs over two tons. Females are smaller, reaching one and a half tons. Its body is soft, allowing it to bend over backwards. A strong diver, it can be underwater up to two hours. 
reaching depths of 6,500 feet. Wow. Here, I have a fish. Help. See, they went to the trouble of animating the animals, which honestly was the right choice in a game like this. Conflict. Male elephant seals create a harem containing several females. If another male appears to be approaching the fe female, the resident male will swell its nose and make a loud, intimidating noise, then violently attack the intruder with its body. I actually just recently watched a nature documentary on this. They recorded a... They recorded a battle between two elephant seals. I think one of them managed to successfully defend its ground. And here are the sea lions. <gasps> babies! Is it baby sea lion? I'm giving it a, I'm giving it a fish. I'm giving it a fish. Here you go. Here you go, buddy. Made a little noise. I wanna pet it. I'm petting I'm petting the baby. <gasps> I'll do that again. He has multiple pet animations. Oh, man. Okay, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Where is that bird? I mean, I'm not angry. Because in our quest to find the bird, we have come across a couple of really awesome finds. We met an elephant seal, got to pet a baby sea lion. Hope I'm not misinterpreting the clue. We have two more spots to visit. Dusky Rock Cod. Yep, we've, we've, we've met you already. Mm. The Bottlenose Whales. I want you to understand, I am finding this bird. This bird will be found. Uh, chinstrap penguins? Yep. Alright, bird. Baby emperor penguins? No, baby. I'm petting the babies. You can't stop me. Aw. No, nothing? Oh, okay. It was still nice to do. No bird. It should be very obvious. Like, I shouldn't have to search for it. I mean, it's a blue bird on, on a white background. Thing is, if I don't find it at this last location, that means that I missed it. Now that's gonna be really humiliating. Ugh, excuse me.
last place I can go ashore. That bird is not here. More of the rock cod. Back at the leopard seals. I was scared to look around as I just. It's not here. The bird is missing. Oh, nope, there it is. Oh, thank God. You found the blue bird. Doesn't seem to be affected by the cold, yeah. Bird is singing a beautiful song. When curtains cover the sky in the frozen north. No idea what that could be. I'm sorry, I'm being harsh. It's a game designed for kids. Something on the ground. The Seeker BCD. All right. I didn't mean to resume. I should have just gone to the boat. It doesn't matter. We've completed the map, which means we're going to get some extra cash for that. And we've advanced the quest. Now we have to go searching for it in the North Pole, which is fine. We'll do that at some point. I'm just going to cut the episode here. You don't have to watch me go all the way back to the island. Thank you very much for being here, everybody. I'll see you next time.